So let us talk about Universal Transverse Mercator Coordinate System that is UTM. So UTM uh, it is a projection actually and uh, if we consider about a, about a globe now it is divided into 60 strips of 6 degree east to west so covering all the globe 60 into 6 is 360 degree so all globe and 360 degree has been covered and each has this second cylinder this is a cylinder say so this is a cylinder right this is a cylinder so this is a single zone this is a representation of single zone now central meridian this is an equator this is an equator and each zone has its own central meridian so the value of x is given as this number 5 to 10 to the power 5 just because uh, we don't require any uh, just to mitigate or negate those negative numbers if any equator we have y equal to 0 for northern hemisphere and for southern hemisphere we have this y is equal to the y value will be, will be equal to 10 to the power 6 right 10 to the power 6 uh, for southern hemisphere why it is we will shortly see now universal transverse mercator utm is a conformal projection and it uses a 2d two dimensional cartesian coordinate system to give locations on the surface of the earth like this these are all zones different different zones and this is a utm grid like the traditional method of latitude and longitude, it is a horizontal position representation. It is used to identify locations on the earth independently of any vertical position. So UTM system divides the earth into 60 zones as I earlier mentioned and each being a 6 degree band of longitude. So these are latitudes and these are longitudes. So these longitudes means there are 60 degree difference, 6 degree difference of longitude and it uses secant transverse mercator projection for each zone. So it is a UTM projection and for each zone the projection is secant transverse mercator projection that is why it is UTM. So this is just an example of a zone as you see this is a half cut zone means it's a northern part of zone. Here we have uh, this as the this as the equator. This is your central meridian and every zone has its own central so as I mentioned earlier, the x value is given, this is the origin, this is the origin, right, 0, 0. So this is, the x value is given as 5 into 10 to the power 5, that is 5 zeros, 5 zeros, and uh, y is equal to 0 because this is the origin. Now x is given as this value just because to negate, as I earlier mentioned, any negative values. So as we go above, the values of value of y changes. And you get the values in meters. This is very good because actually you're getting in kilometers, meters values, not in degree and decimals. That is why it is useful. Now the values of the value of y is increasing, x is uh, constant. Now if you turn this side, means this is actually if you go this side, this is easting, this is northing, uh, this is northing, easting, northing, and this value. Uh, if you go this side, the x uh, becomes 833.967. So this is how the value are computed for a particular zone. So UTM zone, UTM zone again it uh, divides the Earth between 80 degree and 84 degree uh, latitude into 60 zone of uh, 6 degree longitude in each. Bit. I wanted to highlight. I am speaking this again and again. Uh, now the reason we are being is uh, it is not uh, similar in both the both the. You know, this is equator you go here you go here you say that this is 80 degree south this is 80 degree north no it's not like that this is 80 degree okay 80 degree here 80 degree south is there of course but on the northern side it is 84 degree so zone one first zone it covers longitude from 180 degree to 174 degree 180 here and then this is the zone 180 degree this is 174 so from you know you are revolving around the earth and then uh, we cover the last one is 174 180 degree east this has started from the west and it was expected because we are going to culminate at the start starting position the last uh, per, you know, position of uh, uh, zone is the first position of the first zone so these are the latitude bands uh, these latitude bands are actually not the part of UTM but still 
it is a part of MGRS, so they are however sometimes used. So each zone is segmented to 20 latitude bands. These are latitudes, these are longitudes, 20 degree latitude bands. Each latitude band is 8 degree high, 8 degree high and is lettered starting from C, where is A and B, you will just see. And uh, it, it goes up to X, where is I and O, we will just see. So this, we start from C, that is 80 degree south. We go to X that is 84 degree north and I and O are not there. Let the last letter X, it is extended to 4 degree D also. C, C is 80 degree but X is 4, 4 degree more that is 80 degree. Uh, it, so it ends at 84 degree uh, latitude. It's not, it does not end at 80 degree north. Thus covering the northwest land on the earth. Latitude A and B also exist, Y and Z also exist. They cover the western and eastern sides of the Antarctic Arctic. Uh, regions respectively. That is why we have uh, this A and B and Y and Z. So how to locate a position using UTM coordinates? A position on the earth is given by UTM zone number and its easting and northing coordinate pair in that zone. So the position of uh, origin of each UTM zone is the intersection of the equator. This is the equator and the zone center meridian. So this is the origin. The complete zone is like this and we are in the center part. You have uh, central meridian, you have equator, the, the zero zero is here. But to avoid dealing with negative numbers, the central meridian of each zone is set to 5 into 10 to the power uh, 5 meters east. That is why I mentioned earlier in the diagram. So in a way, in, in a zone, for example, point that has an easting of 4 into 10 to the power 5 meters. So if the difference of this is, uh, you know, one, uh, 10 kilo, 100 kilometers. So the 10, this value will be 10, 100 km west of the central meridian. Okay, west of the central meridian measured uh, on the transverse Mercator projection. This is a map I have taken it from internet and uh, I found it good to show you that these are the values of our uh, northing and these are the value of our easting. Please see that these are only three numbers 425, 426, while in this case it is 5151, 5152. So, whenever we are going to a precise position, the easting will always have uh, six uh, digits and uh, nothing will have seven digits. The easting will have six digits and the, these three will be the first one, and along with that, we have three more. And for northing, we have these four numbers first and then four, uh, three numbers more. I'll show you how we get out of this. Now, if uh, this is a particular area of some 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 part of a you know UTM map, if you want to go to this position, what you are going to do? These are the graticules. Uh, now, if these are the graticules, you, you show this. You, there is a special special uh, you can say a scale for UTM which is used generally, very fragile and very accurate. So now I want to locate this position. Now I am aware that these are, uh, you know, every every reticle has around 1 km of difference. This is 1000 meter, 1 km. From uh, this position 357, I see that this position is around 800 meter from 357. So this is around See, this is around 800 meter, this is around 800 meter. So the value will be 357, the closest, posi the closest radical position and 800, 800. So this is the easting position. What about the northing? In northing we say the nearest one for this P is this value, 4276. So 4276. Right, 4 to 76, and we this goes to 750 meter. If we, uh, I'll show you. This is how we complete. Say this is six, this is two. I'll show you that also, but uh, just uh, a broader view that 4 to 76 and 750 above it. So we write it 750. So this is the exact location of a position of in UTM. Terms. So now this is in your meters and now it's quite acute around 10 meter accurate position. 
So if you are on a map, you can use this reticule, you can find the nearest one, the nearest one, and you can go just ahead. That is why this 4, 7, and 6 is there because this is around 6 from this position 0 to 6. And as far as this 7, 4 is concerned, this is about 7, 4, it is 2, 2 unit. See, it's 2 unit, uh, 2 unit. So this is 4, 7, 4. This is how precise location is computed in a UTM uh, map. So hope you got the idea. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.